welcome to the sixth session on Microfocus's DevWeb Protocol. In this video, we'll learn how to add parameter data to the script and use the data in the script via the new DevWeb SDK. We'll show this via the HTTP bin website and their Authentication Simulation API. Parameters are external static values that can be distributed among the virtual users and then used during the script execution. We recorded a flow where we use the basic authentication API tester of HTTP bin org to simulate a login attempt. The correct username is DevWeb and the correct password is 123456. We can see that when the set user credentials step matches the URL of the web request, the replay succeeds. Let's change the password to an incorrect value. We can see that the script fails to replay. We'll use the ViewGenUI to create the data file in the script directory. If you are not using ViewGen, you can create this file manually. More details on the content of this file and the accompanying parameters YAML file is in the online documentation and in the examples. We name the first parameter username and take its value from a file named data.txt. The name can be any string and will be used within the script to identify this parameter. We name the second parameter password and take its value from the same file. Now let's link the password column to the password parameter and set the correct values. We want the password parameter to match the username parameter. Therefore, we'll make sure that the next row selection is the same as the username. We'll assign the parameter's value directly from the load params object by using the parameter name as the object property. Let's run the script. Every time a parameter is assigned to a value, a message with the parameter name and the assigned value is printed to the console at the info log level. Let's make sure that the login was successful. We can see that it was. Thank you for watching this video about using parameters in a DevWeb script. We invite you to watch our next video about correlations. Music